What's going on guys? Mike back with Horror Junkies and another trailer review. Guys, next month is February. And you know what that means. Valentine's Day. Now I know some of you guys are scared of Valentine's Day because you're you're just too big of tight asses and you don't want to spend no money. So some of you guys are just going to ditch your lady friends so you don't have to. Assholes. And you know what they say about assholes. Assholes don't think they stink. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? Um, so I only feel it right to review the trailer for Lisa Frankenstein. Because, guys, this is a romantic horror comedy that you can take your lady to. And what woman doesn't like romantic? And if you're both in the horror, well, that's a plus for both of you. She likes romantic and horror, and you love horror. <laughs> Need I say any more? Guys, you got to bite the bullet sometimes. Well, this might, it's going to be the time you bite it. You see what I'm saying? Don't be scared of it. This movie stars Kristen Newton and Cole Sprouse. So, without further ado, guys, let's just go and get in this trailer right now. There's a young man. I talked to him. I wish I was with you. That's really weird, Lisa. Ah! Ah! I'm the greatest God created. Power tripping on the mission. Taffy says it's a waste of time to try and fix a boy. It's better just accept a guy's flaws. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't do that. Not until we bury the body. There is no turning back now. This goth phase in soon. So there you have it, guys. February 9th in theaters. Um, my first thoughts on this trailer is it reminds me of a movie called Encino Man uh, back in 92. <clears throat> it starred Brandon Fraser and Polly Shore. Pretty much the same concept. Brandon Fraser was a caveman. They dug him up. He was frozen. They unthawed him. They had to teach him to speak. They had to teach him, you know, how to be cool, how to be mellow, um, and teach him how the way of the new world was that he's living in. Pretty much the same thing. Guys, I don't see this being too bloody of a movie. I really think this is going to end up being a PG-13. It showed that it had not been rated yet, but this looks more of PG-13 because that's just the way the horror, some of the horror movies are going these days, and I fucking hate it. Can't stand it. They're going to jog around the horror thing a little bit. They're not going to show too much blood. That's just That's just the way it's going, you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's some movies I can I can throw out there that that worked really well with it. Megan, the Boogeyman. Those are movies that worked out really well for the PG-13. Even though there was no blood, it worked. Would have been way better with the gore, but it wasn't there. So, guys, take your lady, fight a bullet, go see this movie. You gotta do it. It's Valentine's Day. Just bite the bullet. <laughs> you got to do it. I'm going to take my wife to see this movie because I think she'll like it. She likes horror. She likes comedy. She's romantic. 
at the same time. So I think she'll enjoy this. Um, I'm going to do it. It looks fun. We'll have to check it out. And then once we go check it out, I'll do a full movie review on this movie for sure. Like always, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out my videos. Hit that like button if you love this video. Much love. Much love. That's going to be it for Lisa Frankenstein. This is Horror Junkies, and I'm out. Ooh.